Today we're going to be looking at graphs and direct proportion. Here is our first example. Fabric is sold by the meter. You buy 8 meters and it costs $11.60. A. Find a formula for the cost of fabric. Let x be the length of fabric and y be the total cost. The first thing we need to do is find out how much it costs for 1 meter of fabric. To do this we'll do $11.60 divided by 8 meters which will give us $1.45. So it costs $1.45 per meter. To do our formula, we'll simply do the total cost is equal to $1.45 multiplied by the total length of fabric. B, draw a graph to show the cost of different lengths of fabric. To do this, we'll first have to have a table of values. Our table of values includes possible values of x. X represents the length of fabric, so we can begin with X is equal to zero. To find Y, which is the total cost, we need to substitute X into the formula from part A. When X is equal to zero, Y is also equal to zero. When X is equal to one, Y is equal to 1.45. When X is equal to two, Y is equal to 2.90. And when X is equal to three, Y is equal to 4.35. To complete a graph, draw your x-axis from 0 to 3 or 4 and ensure your y-axis goes all the way up to 5 and has equal spacing between each interval. You can use Desmos to check your graph. Let's take a look at part C. Use the formulas to determine how many metres of fabric you can buy for $8. To do this, we will need our equation. y is equal to 1.45 multiplied by x. $8 represents the total cost, so it represents our y value. Substitute 8 into y, so we're left with 8 is equal to 1.45 multiplied by x. x will equal to 8 divided by 1.45. Therefore, x is equal to 5.52 meters. Here is our last example. The lengths of the sides and the diagonal of the square is proportional. Complete the table below. The side length 30 and diagonal length 42 is given to us already. From this we can find our multiplier. To do this we'll do 42 divided by 30 which gives us 1.4. The key is the sides and the diagonals are directly proportional so we can use this multiplier to find out the missing values of the table. The side length of 10 multiplied by 1.4 will give us a diagonal length of 14. The side length of 20 multiplied by 1.4 will give us 28 as a diagonal length. And in a similar fashion, 40 will give us 58.8 and 50 will give us 70. B, find a formula for D in terms of S. Since we already have our multiplier, D will equal to 1.4 multiplied by s. C. Find the diagonal of a square with a side length of 40. 40 represents s. So to find d, we'll simply uh, substitute 40 into our formula. We'll be left with d is equal to 56. D. Find the side length of a square with a diagonal length of 77. 77 represents D. So when we substitute it into our formula, 77 will equal to 1.4 multiplied by S. To find S, we'll do 77 divided by 1.4, which will give us 55.